Hello, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida. In August, with something cold around my neck and I'm about to add something cold to my camera. Saying this is the end of the day for me and I've got leftover colors to use up. I'm not sure what to do with them. I see gold in the bottom, but I don't see much of anything else that can tell me how to make, oh, right in the paint. <laughs> I could have been worse. Anyway, so I have an OXO omelet turning spatula and a slightly schmutzy canvas that won't be schmutzy for long and some white paint and I'm inclined to use some black paint too but I'm not sure why that would be <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna find my glasses and they are right there that's so cool the timer set my music's off the paint is too close I think I'm gonna add a little bit more paint to that I've got a couple of foreign objects in there so I have some white paint. Now the question is, do I want to go for the black? And I wanted to do a black and white painting earlier, but I haven't had time today. Anyway, I'm going to wash that off in the, in the bucket. If you use a bucket to clean your tools, don't empty it down the drain. <laughs> that's all I can say. Uh, that's not really all I can say. What I can say is it coats the, the pipes and then you have some serious... Whoa, holy, you can't see that. Okay, that is the biggest flow troll rude word <laughs> I have ever seen. And there it goes. It's evidently from the inside where the top screws on. Anyway, these awesome paint spreading, omelet turning, OXO spatulas are available on my Amazon link. Buy the big one. It's the better of the two. It's also less expensive. It works better. I'm not going to worry too much about the part where this joins. I'd like to get to the edges though. It's so hot. I left my paint out here a long time while I let my camera cool and me cool. And so we're dealing with very, very, very slippery, very watery paints right now. Even though it has flow troll and GAC 800 in it, it's not cool. <laughs> like literally hot. Anyway, so I digress into the bucket with you. I'm not minding that. Hopefully we're still in frame. I have gorgeous paint. I'm just going to ribbon it. I think I'm going to throw some blue in there even though I'm not sure what that's going to do. And because I use GAC 800 it means that um, instead of my paint cracking I can leave it thick if I so desire, and it won't crack. Most of the time, I experience no cracks, no matter how thick I leave my paint. And today, I think it's going to spread out anyway, to tell you the truth. That's a better ring board than I've done all day. Some beautiful colors. some white canvas I've got to cover up. I don't have a choice. If I want white back in there, I will add it, I guess. And because I have spin, sp excuse me, wow, uh, Princeton Catalyst spatulas that originally came from Hobby Lobby for a good price, but now seem to be only available at Cheap Joe's if you're very lucky on the internet. I can do all kinds of stuff. I would like all of that paint to come out of there. <laughs> I used a damp cloth over the top of this earlier so I could make sure that it didn't dry up because it's very warm out here. It's like in the 90s. Again, we were expecting rain and I thought that would cool it off and I thought it would be lucky for us too since what is that? That is an uninvited guest. So, that's cool. Maybe I should just leave it right like that. I have some paint in here, and I am inclined to do something with it. Let's, let's remember that I can run my skewer through with black or white in the background. I'm going to throw this in the bucket. This is about as done as I can make it for now. 
And here's another of my favorite little Princeton spatulas. And uh, we have plenty of time. Well, we got 15 minutes. And I'm loving what's going on here. I don't want to get too involved in messing anything up. But as long as these white paint that's wet in the background, I can, I was going to say, channel my inner, and then I couldn't think of a word, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so I like that little white space there. The only way to make sure I keep that is to add some white, because the paint has dried so fast from the heat that it's no longer viable there. Generally, I would use, and will use right now, my little spatula to push that white paint that's our negative space filler, or the opposite of that actually, right up to the edges, and I expect it to merge at that point, because it can. I can also use my bamboo skewer as long as it stays clean, which is doubtful, <laughs> actually. And I have medical tubing, but I did just dip in the paint, the mouthpiece, but um, hopefully I can wipe that off and that'll still be usable at some future point. Let's see if now is that. You won't see me if I have black lips anyway. Um, I see another spot. And I'm surprised. And even though I spread paint all the way over there, I'm going to put some more white paint over there so I don't have to think about it for a minute. Sometimes I just really like the shapes that I see and I don't want to lose them. So I try and fill them. I'm loving what's going on here. I'm not inclined to do much of anything to change it. I say that and then I willfully just <laughs> do whatever I feel like doing. And I have some black paint that's needed to fill that. And I see that I want to do something over here. I don't really want to take away anything that's happening there, but I did anyway. So I'm going to fill in on the edge and hopefully I can pull it all down. Yeah. And whatever falls over can just cover the edge right there. And that's perfect. And I guess I, it's my job right now to just keep noticing where the paint is missing. my finger along it, not getting too much other stuff going mixed in with it on my finger. Um, I'm liking this. I don't think I need to do a whole lot to it to tell you the truth except for maybe to go back and fix up the edges. And uh, I often say gold fixes everything so maybe not so much when it's that runny because that is very unexpected right there. But embrace the unexpected. It's the best way to deal with what you've got anyway. And I'm liking what it's doing. And I think we're just going to balance out this design a little bit. And I suspect we have a really good shot at some cells popping. I'm just going to take the paint. Usually I'd have better, I'd have thicker paint that I could roll down the side. But like I said, everything is running like water right now. But I'm liking this so much. I know I can go back and touch that up later, but I'm having moments of thinking that things aren't going to cover very well if I don't do them. They're not going to cover and blend. I can use my little spatula, but uh, right at the moment I prefer my finger. Often I use my little spatula. I don't mind if paints mix once in a while. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't bother me. I'm liking that very much. I was looking at this over here thinking it would be nice to continue this gold theme. I'm liking that too and I'm going to keep using my rag. I'm going to get some paints out of the way while I can. I let whatever's running down go right over the edge. Make a pretty marble design with gold in there. Can't hurt my feelings that way. 
And it's just so kind of simple and I elegant. Simple being a relative word <laughs> relative to my other not so simple pieces. And since it's accidental art, it doesn't matter if any of it looks accidental or not. It's, uh, it's a creative process in tandem with nature, in my opinion. And that's one of the things I love the most about it. For sure. But I'm seeing nine minutes left on the clock. Yeah, you've noticed probably that I didn't tip the painting or try and do anything much with the paint we have. And that, at the moment, is primarily because it's already so thin that I just figure it's going to spread out anyway. I know it's drying out anyway. Sorry, I get, I get distracted by work for a minute. <laughs> I forget what I'm saying in the middle of a sentence. Yeah, that's so clever of me. Anyway, I'm loving this, all of this. And of course, it's leftover paint at the end of the day, why would it be just what I planned on? The universe has been punishing me for listening to all your compliments lately. I'm not allowed to get as cocky as I was feeling for a minute. So I lost my zone for a few days and it disturbed me. Some people said some mean stuff. I'm going to learn not to take that to heart. It's important not to listen to mean people who are already unhappy. <laughs> they don't, it's not personal. It's personal to them, not to me. Or you. Just remember that. <laughs> Sage advice from the heat stroked girl in Florida. Painting with her finger. Yeah, that makes so much sense. I'm going to put some more paint down there. For some reason, and we know what that reason is, I'm seeing all kinds of canvas come through. And it's just because of the, the nature of things. I'm really, really tempted. I am. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted I'm going to do it. Yeah, that's what I wanted right there. Don't mind that there's a little paint on that skewer. It's going to make, mean that whatever I'm doing down there is not solid. Solid one color doesn't look quite natural to me sometimes. I'm going to, I'm going to use this skewer to like gently pull some paint down. Even if I'm out of your frame, I need to pull it to the edge of the tile to have that work. This is cool. I don't know what else to do to it. I guess that's what I want to do to it. Because I can. <laughs> you were all waiting for that. I was like, why isn't she saying it? Because I can. Because I don't always. <laughs> because I wasn't recently. And the spirals. The spirals have not been happening either. We need the rain again. The rain was lucky. Okay, so what I'm seeing right now, some nice thick paint up there. And I'd like some to go over the edges. So I'm going to steal some paint, like I've been known to do, and allow those. Whoop, why do I want to steal it from? That's the question. I want these marks to be cohesive. Go right over the side. They don't have to match perfectly, but they're going to give the impression. And when I go to fill the, the edges in, I can use the bamboo skewer and put some white paint on there. And in the meantime, I'm not minding... Ooh, there's some cool stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, go, go figure. I don't mind any of this going over the edge. I think I want it all to go over the edge. Take a moment, look at it again, say, I like this very much. I want some more stuff to go over the edge. I have stuff already dripping over the edge. I have not used my torch yet. I just remembered. I'm not sure about that. I kind of want some of this. And because it's very, very liquidous, I'm going to be very cautious and not do it over the painting. Because I think it will just come streaming right out if I'm not careful. I 
If my head is in the way, I apologize. I think a little more of that is going to be something that makes me happy. I think I'm going, to, going for it. my skewer in right where I see a little canvas. I'm going to leave some paint on my skewer, the gold and the black, whatever, so that it mixes. I'm going to add some more dots. I like dots. Not everybody likes dots. I love dots, as a matter of fact, for all you dotless lovers or non-dot lovers or whatever you are. So there's plenty of artwork without dots. This is not that. <laughs> this is going to get dots. And then we're going to call it done. We're done in three minutes anyway. So I'm going to tell you probably what I already told you. That there's an Amazon link at the top of my page below the video. Right above show more. And show more will give you links if you go to the bottom to my Pinterest page, pages. Boards. And a Facebook page where a lot of the YouTube art has been added wet and dry. Yeah, I'm going to town. <laughs> I'm liking it. Yeah, they're not naturally occurring cells. Oh, well, never mind. I do it because I can. And I'm not going to stop anytime soon. So what else was I saying? Yeah, I think we're covered. There's a Patreon link and a Pinter uh, excuse me, a Patreon link and a PayPal link if you want to contribute to help me buy art supplies. I have no in other income. And so... Thank you very much to all the contributors who have helped me so far. You have made this possible right here, right now, for sure. There's no doubt about it. I don't really want to destroy too many of those cells, but I like the way that looks drawn over the edge. I'm not sure it's perfect, but it's perfect right now. So, I think, other than maybe taking a moment... Torch. Torch and dot. Torch and dot. <laughs> Makes no sense. Okay, I'm going to uh, try and remove this confusing piece of freezer paper that I thought was necessary, that was evidently not as necessary as I thought. And we've got a pretty cool piece that I am loving. What will happen when we torch it? So, this is Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio saying, I'm really happy you joined me. I love doing this for you, especially when it's working well. And um, thank you again to all my contributors. And you're going to hear the timer very shortly. And I'm glad that I didn't take any longer because my camera gets really hot. <laughs> and so do I. It's the end of the day here on a Sunday. And this is my last painting. I'm getting some really funky texture, but I'm loving the colors in there. And maybe this time I can avoid cooking it. Hot days and hot torches. If there's anything I can tell you, any questions you need answered, feel free to ask. No guarantee I'll answer, but probably I will. Chances are good. Um, I really, really like this. And I'm going to say Priscilla, out from Florida. Have a good one, and see you in the next video. Bye for now.